Thanks again for watching our video. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Jason from Aquarium and Reptile Depot. We are going to be talking about setting up an aquarium, acclimating fish, and maintaining aquariums. So you're probably watching our channel because you are preparing to set up an aquarium, thinking about setting up an aquarium, or already an aquarium owner. We gotta start our series talking about how to start up an aquarium. First things first, starting an aquarium is doing your research and seeing what draws your interest. We definitely strongly encourage doing your research on setting up an aquarium because we understand this will be an investment and a hobby that we hope that you continue to stay in. Things to consider when starting an aquarium, you want to think about what type of aquarium you want to start with, whether that's freshwater, saltwater, whether it's a planted freshwater or a reef aquarium. These are the things that you want to think about before starting an aquarium. Starting an aquarium, in our opinion, should not be an impulse decision. We recommend coming into the store, asking plenty of questions, watching YouTube videos such as ours, or reading a lot of articles through magazines or online websites or possibly even forums. When starting an aquarium, you want to think about you are trying to set up an environment or an ecosystem for a living animals. So setting it up properly is very, very important. Starting an aquarium, you always want to think about where you're going to put it in your home. We always recommend keeping it away from a window, keeping it away from vents, pretty much putting it in a very stable area of your home or place of business. We are on site at TIF. We're going to be setting up a 150 gallon freshwater aquarium today. If budget is not an issue, we recommend going as large as possible. Having a larger aquarium allows for your aquarium to become more stable. Larger bodies of water tend not to fluctuate as much as small bodies of water. We always use the example of boiling water. If you boil a big pot of water, it's going to take a lot longer than if you were to boil a small pot of water. That stays true with an aquarium as well. Things tend to fluctuate a lot quicker in a smaller environment. Going into an aquarium, budgeting is very important. You want to think about not only the fish that you're going to purchase, but the cost of maintaining an aquarium, definitely setting up an aquarium, and other things that go along with just the aquarium in itself. Once you have chosen your aquarium and you decided to go with whichever size gallons or size that you go with, then you want to start thinking about picking out the equipment for the tank. Equipment is very important in our opinion. Um, it may not be the most fun part for most customers, but that is what allows you to have a thriving ecosystem. First things first, once you get the tank and stand um, set up, you want to think about a filter. Things to consider about a filter is that when you're setting up an aquarium, the filter is the heart or the engine of your aquarium because this is what is going to keep your ecosystem going. Not only does it filter your water, but it also will provide an area for you to put your biological filtration, mechanical filtration, and your chemical filtration. We'll go more in depth in the filters, but you want to think about probably getting a hang on the back filter, a canister filter, or possibly even a sump filtration. It is essential to have proper filtration because if you think about where your living organisms are living in your aquarium, they're eating and producing waste in the same area. So therefore having proper filtration to, to remove these things is essential to maintain a proper aquarium. Another piece of equipment that's vital to your system is a heater. The heater will maintain a constant temperature. Consistency is very essential to maintaining a proper aquarium because instabilities cause fish from getting stressed out, leading to possibly getting sick or promoting disease in your aquarium. Lighting is going to be your next step. Lighting is broad. Uh, whether you're trying to just light up the aquarium having a fish, or you're trying to sustain living plants, or possibly corals, you will need to pick the proper lighting setup for your aquarium that you're going to try to achieve. So cosmetics and decoration will be your next step. You'll have to think about certain substrates, whether that's a planted substrate or sand for your reef aquarium or just gravel just for a fish only tank. Think about rocks 
or wood or any other type of decoration that can potentially create hiding spots for your inhabitants, therefore leading to a more comfortable environment for them. We really don't recommend using any chemicals for an aquarium unless it's absolutely necessary. So, I mean, to start up an aquarium, we really just recommend water conditioner. Our choice of brand is Seacam Prime. And starting up an aquarium, depending on what type of aquarium it is, we recommend beneficial bacteria or seeding it with beneficial bacteria. The brands that we like are Seacam Stability, Aqua Vitro Seed, Dr. Tim's One and Only, and Microlifts Night Out. After you have gotten all your necessities, your filters, your heaters, your lighting, your decoration, your gravel, you put your water conditioner in and your beneficial bacteria, you think you're ready to start up an aquarium? Well, we recommend waiting. We recommend going with the fishless cycle, which means we don't sacrifice any fishes while your tank is cycling. You guys are probably wondering what cycling is. We'll give you a quick tutorial about cycling. Basically, creating an ecosystem, you can't just put fish in there, or we at least don't recommend putting fish in there immediately after setting up the aquarium. You want to let it naturally age. By naturally aging and letting the ecosystem mature, you're going to build up nitrifying bacteria. So generally how a nitrogen cycle works is after you put the beneficial bacteria in there and possibly ghost feeding the tank, you'll create an ammonia spike. Ammonias will convert into nitrites which are toxic ammonias and nitrites are very toxic. So if you put a fish in too fast and not letting the tank cycle, it could lead them to not make it in the aquarium or possibly get stressed and get sick and get the other fish sick in your tank. So after that, after the ammonia and nitrite cycle, we recommend waiting until it gets to the nitrates. Once it reaches the nitrate stage, that means your tank is fully cycled. Nitrates are non-toxic below 20 parts per million. So by keeping your nitrates low, you just need to do small water changes. Typically for a freshwater aquarium, we recommend a minimum of one to two weeks before putting fish in there. And for saltwater, um, at least for four to six weeks. Remember that everyone's tank does cycle differently. So these are just averages that we, that we use. Your tank could cycle quicker or it could cycle longer. So make sure that you are testing your water. When you test water, we are more than happy to test water in the store, but when you test at home and you understand how to test your water, it's going to be way more accurate. So we recommend the API Freshwater Master Test Kit, API Saltwater Master Test Kit. We understand that when cycling an aquarium, it could seem like it's taking forever. However, once you start your aquarium and you're ready to put fish in, you'll be able to populate your aquarium in no time. During this time, while you're waiting for your tank to cycle, it's a great time to do your research. So whether that's coming into the store or just watching videos or reading up on the fish that you want so you can be prepared to buy fish when you're ready to add fish. The biggest thing to remember though, when you're ready to add fish, which we're gonna talk about in the next video, please just don't add fish in too rapidly or too many fish in at once. We understand that that was pretty quick, but we just want to give you a quick rundown when you're setting up an aquarium. If you have any more questions, of course, come into the store or message us or comment below and we'll be more than happy to answer the questions. Like I said, we will go a lot more in depth in certain topics, but we just want to keep this simple and basic uh, to start up this series. We get that there's a lot of ways to set up an aquarium, but this is just our way that we think that leads to the highest success rate for most of our customers. We want our customers, in whichever way that they choose to start up an aquarium, to be comfortable with the decision that they go with. But this is just purely our suggestion to start up an aquarium. Thank you for watching our video. To celebrate our first tutorial, we will be giving a free giveaway. For whoever can guess our next video correctly in the comments below, we'll be giving a free band and t-shirt. Check out the description below. Please follow and like our videos. And follow us on our social media. We're out. I think I rolled my eyes on that one.